you guys it's me Morgan and I'm back and I wanted to show you guys or tell you guys all about my hair so um my hair been like this for some weeks now I got my hair done on August the 15th and I don't know what today is it's September something but um I just wanted to come and show you guys my hair and give you all the details about it because I did get a lot of questions on Instagram who did my hair and when I go out places people ask me questions so I just wanted to come and show you guys my goddess locked so. okay so over the summer I did have faux locks that I did myself um, but this time I really wanted to try some goddess locks and I think what made me want to get them again is that when I had my faux locks like I was so spoiled I didn't have to do my hair literally I just woke up and did nothing to my hair maybe style it and put it in a cute style but that's it so like I've been so spoiled by not doing my hair so when I went back to work in August I was like oh my god I gotta do my hair again so I was like let me get some goddess locks because I think they're so pretty so like months ago I found this girl on Instagram and her Instagram is hair designs by Coco and like she has tons of followers so I knew she was like legit she posted all her work and I was just like oh my god like this is amazing it's beautiful I love everything about it so I messaged her and talked to her about what I wanted and I scheduled an appointment so I got my hair done by her and she is in Atlanta in case y'all don't know I live in Atlanta um, she's located like bam in Atlanta not the suburb she's like literally located in Atlanta so um yeah I got my hair done by her on the 15th of August so I did get the jumbo goddess locks um so these are it so these are the bigger ones and it took her about four and a half five hours to do them and I was trying to figure out how she did it and she's like a miracle worker because I don't know if I can do these all myself but um she was really really sweet and like I just fell in love with them I will say first when I got them done I was like oh my god they're really stiff um so when I got them done I was like holding it and I was like like the lock was literally stick as heck like it would not bend or anything it was just like pew, stuck so she um told me like in a couple days they will loosen up um I do love to go swimming so I went swimming with them and they loosened up right away I think I went swimming like three days later and they loosened up so I feel like the more that you wear these the more that you have them in the longer they're gonna last um she said they last three to four months I cannot keep them in my head for three to four months just because I always change my hair up so I'm gonna try to keep them in at least until the end of September because that will be like a month and a half and I do want to get them again and when I was talking to her she wanted me to get color but I was scared just because first of all I never had goddess locks so I just wanted to try that out first you know start from the beginning basic so um, next time I'm gonna get color because I did see a girl's hair that she did that had color and it was so so pretty so yeah so I definitely think like me sitting there for four and a half hours is worth it um the hair only hairstyles I really wear are my hair up in a bun with this back part hanging down and I just did this today which they're probably uneven but it's okay because life isn't perfect so your hair doesn't really have to be perfect either so um yeah but after I did my hair after she did them she decorated my hair with all kind of cute little trinkets and it was just so pretty um I'll see if I have like a clip or a picture that I can post right when I got it done. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all was y'all would have seen like right when I got it done what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it was really, really, really pretty. And I like the way she does hers too because she adds like these pieces of hair in. Um, before she had like a whole bunch in, but since this part of the hair is synthetic I believe you can get human hair too if you want but um this is synthetic and I was going swimming all the time I just took them out and I found hair that was similar and just went ahead and crocheted it in so all you have to do really 
is crochet these pieces of hair into the root of your hair. So I do change these out when they start getting nappy. Um, but I do like having them in the front. I just feel like a bohemian or something like that. But yeah. So yeah, I just want to come and show y'all my hair and how it's looking and everything. I will leave the link to her Instagram below. If y'all live in Atlanta and you want your hair done by her, she's really, really nice and sweet. I promise you. Oh yeah, and I need to tell you guys what products I do use on my hair. Let me go get them. One sec. Okay, so I got all the products that I use on the hair. So um, to wash my hair, I do use this Organics Tea Tree and Mint Shampoo. I don't know about y'all, but when I get braids, my head itches quite a bit. So I got this to use on my hair to wash it. Um, and then I also got this, and I actually had this right here. Let me scoot it up so y'all can see. I actually used this when I had um, my crochet locks, and this is the Cantu Apple Cider Vinegar Root Relief. So when your head does itch, um, it has a nozzle, and you literally just put it on like that, and then rub it in. So I use this like every two nights. And then this right here is the Wild Growth. Um, hopefully it's focusing. Yeah, Wild Growth. And this is a growth hair oil. So I've been using this, been putting this on every other night um, on the roots and on my edges. And let me tell y'all. So when I got my hair done by Coco, she put this got to be glued gel on my edges and I was like wait hold on what is that because I'm so used to putting edge control on my edges and the thing with edge control in me is like it always reverts my hair reverts back to being curly so she put this on my hair and hello like this was the best thing ever like them things stay laid down forever okay so it doesn't leave like a white residue I mean if you're putting it on like every day for five days you're gonna have some white residue but I'll put it on for like two days in a row and then wash it and then just reapply it. But this stuff is legit, okay? Legit, I promise you. Okay, so yeah. So those are all the products I use with this hair. Um, you can wet it, wash it, swim, deep sea dive, whatever with it. And, and nothing bad will happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave the links to everything below in the info section. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.